Welcome back to Vlog PE with me, Mr. Deneen. And this one's lesson number five. I hope you had a great Easter and you've eaten lots of chocolate Easter eggs. Now's the time to do the fifth lesson to burn off lots of that energy that you've eaten. Okay, so in today's lesson, all we're going to need is some gloves. Just like so, oh, pair of gloves. Now, if you don't have a pair of gloves, don't worry, because you could just use a pair of socks. So it's your choice, really. Gloves or a pair of socks, okay? You need to go grab those for me. And you've got one minute to do so, as always, starting from now. Off you go. too hard to find some gloves or your socks okay remember you only need one of those so if you brought two back don't worry you won't need one you can choose excellent so we'll put them to one side we don't need them at the moment so we'll put them down there and you might have noticed I've got my bunny ears on because our warm-up is all about being a bunny so let's get straight to it if I say bunny run what do you think I'm gonna get you to do lots of you have already started running brilliant Bunny run is just running on the spot, using those arms, using those legs, getting our body warmed up, pumping that blood and that oxygen all around our body. Fantastic, so that's our bunny run. So we say bunny run, run on the spot. Brilliant. Next one is a bunny hop. Bunnies love to hop. So we're gonna hop on one leg. There we go, our bunny hop. Just hop in. I might change over. In our bunny hop, just hopping along. Excellent, brilliant. So we've got our bunny run and our bunny hop so far. Next one is a bunny bounce. So we're just gonna bounce, here we go. Bunny bounce. There we go, just bouncing on the spot. Like we're on a trampoline, bouncing bunnies. Bunny bounce. Fantastic, like to a bunny run. Brilliant, just moving those arms, moving those legs, running on the spot, and a bunny hop. Bunnies love to hop. There we go. Brilliant. Fantastic. Good. And our last one in our warm up is going to be our bunny dig. Now, bunnies love to dig. So, we're going to dig too. So, we're going to be in a squat position, just like this. We've done lots of squats before. We're all brilliant at those. Make sure our bum's sticking out of the back. We're ready, and we're gonna squat down, and we're gonna dig. Bunny dig, and back up again, and down, bunny dig, and back up again, and down, bunny dig. Brilliant, we've got our bunny run. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We've got our bunny hop, and change over. Our bunny bounce, big bounces for me. Brilliant, and our bunny dig into the squat position. And down to dig, and up again. And down to dig again, and up. And down to dig, and up. Fantastic. Brilliant. I think we're ready to go a little bit faster as our Easter bunny. Are you ready at home to go faster? Okay, I think we're ready. Let's go. Bunny run, super fast now. Let's go. Bunny run. Bunny hop. Loads of hops, quick. Change over. Brilliant, bunny bounce, fast bounces. And bunny dig, down we get, and up. And down we get, and up. And down we get, and up. Fantastic, shake your arms, shake your legs. Stretch.
stretch your arms, move your arms around, shake your legs again. Brilliant. I think we are ready to get on with today's P lesson. Well done everybody at home. Down into the plank straight away, let's go. Into the plank. Get down on your elbows or on your hands, it's your choice. Let me go on my hands, just hold it there for me. Hold it. Brilliant. Keep holding that plank for me. Fantastic, you should feel it in your tummy muscles, in your abs. Excellent. And up you get. Brilliant. It's time for our skill station. I'm going to take my bunny ears off because I don't need them for this bit. Put them down there. Good. So what you're going to need is your gloves or your socks, whichever you brought with you. I want you to put them on. So if you've got gloves, put them on your hands. If you've got socks, put them on your hands. I'm going to use my socks to start with, I think. There we go, they're on my hands, brilliant. Now, you can choose not to put anything on your hands. It's up to you at home, so gloves or socks or just your hands, doesn't matter, it's up to you, your choice. Brilliant, so today we're going to train to be a boxer. We're gonna do something called boxer size. Some of you might have heard it, some of your grown-ups might have heard it, and all that is, is different activities that boxers do to get themselves ready, to get themselves really, really fit. Okay, excellent. So, exercise number one. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna stand normal just to show you. If you write with your right hand, which I do, okay, you're gonna put your left foot forwards and your right foot pointing to the side, just like that. If you write with your left hand, which I know Miss Colucci does, then you're gonna put your left foot backwards and your right foot forwards, just like that. So we're making a bit of a ooh with our body, with our feet. So I'm gonna go back into my position because I'm right-handed, just like that. And then you're gonna put your hands up, just like this, making two fists in front of your body, just like that. That's our ready position. So if I say to you today, can you get into your ready position? Straight into your ready position with your feet and your hands. Let's give that a practice at home. Are you ready? Okay. Ready position. Yeah, it should be feet back, arms and hands ready to go. Excellent. That's our first job, training to be a boxer. Number two, boxers do lots and lots of skipping to keep themselves really, really fit. Okay, so you're gonna pretend You've got a jump rope, skipping rope in your hands. I'm gonna hold my hands out like that, pretend I've got one. I'm just gonna skip, just bouncing along, just to skip with our skipping rope, just like that. Excellent, moving our arms, bouncing on the spot, just skipping. Fantastic, we go a bit faster at home, a bit faster. Moving our skipping rope, just bouncing. Excellent, so that's our skip hit done. Good, so, so far we've got our ready position and we've done some skipping with our imaginary skipping rope. Excellent. Third one is we're gonna start to learn how to do some of the moves. So, ready position for me. Now this first one is called a jab because you just jab forwards. Moving forwards with your hand and your arm. And the one thing you might see, I'm gonna do it on the side so you can see, I'm back in my ready position again, is when I do it, I don't just move my hand forward and my arm forward like that, I made a fist, I've got a big fist, there we go, my fist is ready, and when I move forward, and then twist, so I'm going forward and I'm twisting, twisting like that, twisting like that, good, and I'll come back again, and when I finish, it does look like that, okay? Should look like that. Brilliant. Show you without my sock now, just so you can see. So we go, made my fist, put my hands together, made my fist, I'm ready, and I'm pushing through, and I twist. So that should be how your hand finishes. This side, jab, 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 other hand, jab, 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 
Brilliant job. Back into our ready position. Good. Fantastic. So, we've got a ready position. We've got our skipping. Show me your skipping again. Mad you skipping rope. Good. And we've got our jab. Just moving our arm and our hand forwards. Just in a straight line forwards. Good. Excellent. Another thing that boxers do to keep nice and fit are press ups. And we've done press ups before, so you should be pretty good at this. Okay, so press ups down to the floor. You got on my side just to show you. Your choice at home, remember, on your knees is absolutely fine, or you can go on your feet. It's your choice. So hands down, we do the knees ones just to show you to start off with. Knees back, and then we're gonna balance just there and push our body down. Trying to get our chest to the floor and back up again. So chest to the floor and back up again. If you want to do it on your feet, same as that. Pushing down and up again. Okay, we're going to do five press ups now. So choose which, how you want to do them on your knees or on your hands. It's up to you, it's your choice. So I'm going to go my, my feet. Not my knees. I'm going to do five. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. And up we get. Fantastic. So we've got so far a reposition, a skipping, a jab. And we've done some press ups to train like a boxer. Excellent, we're gonna learn another move now. So, last time we did our jab, and our arm went straight in front. Just like so. This time, we're gonna do a cross, a crossover. So that means my hand is gonna cross over my body. Just like that. Just the same again, I'm twisting, but I make my hand go across my body. Just like so. That's my right hand, do my left hand now. Always good to practice on both of your hands. It's just crossing, then we're into twist, finishing at the end. Good, other side again. It's my right side. Brilliant. Now boxer size is all about control and concentration. I know loads of you are concentrating at home to try and do these. Brilliant. So we've got our ready position. We've got our skipping with our rope. We've got our jab, which is just straight forward. We've got our press ups, which is down. Press ups, just give me one press up. Good, up again. Fantastic. And we've got our crossover. We're crossing over our arm across our body, just like so. Brilliant. Next one, next move we're going to do is called an uppercut. That means we just go up, just like so. So in our ready position again, this time we're going to duck down, bring our hand down and push up like so. And again, down, and the other side, and up, and down, and the other side, and down, and on the other side. Brilliant. Just pushing our body down, just sitting down, just like that. Using our knees to sit down, keeping our hands in the ready position. When we go down, we go up, up with our arm. And we're finishing in that position. Up, up, up. Brilliant. Good job. Excellent. Okay. So we've done lots of different things there. We've got a ready position. We've got our skipping. Skip with me. Do this with me, guys. Brilliant. We've got our jab going forwards. There we go, our arm. Brilliant. We've got our press ups. We're going to have the two. One, two, and up again. Good. Back to ready position. Here we go. Our crossover. Crossover move. Keep changing those arms. Make sure you get that twist in there. Brilliant. And now our uppercut. We go down and push up with our hand. Down and push up. Down and push up. Down and push up. Brilliant job, excellent. Now, we're gonna put those together. 
So boxer size is sometimes a bit like dancing because you have to put those moves together. I'm gonna put my gloves on for these. So what we're gonna do is, let me get my gloves on. Go. Good time to get a drink if you've got a drink with you. If you haven't, don't worry, have a quick drink. back into my red position and I'm ready again. So here's our combination move, we're adding lots of movements together. So I'm going to go jab on one side, jab on the other side, then I'm going to do a crossover and then I'm going to duck. But I'm going to keep my hands in the red position at all times. So jab, jab, crossover, duck. Do it again. Jab, jab, crossover, duck. Good, hopefully you're getting a hang of it at home. We'll do it again. Jab forward, jab forward, crossover, duck. Brilliant. Jab, jab, crossover, duck. Okay, we've had quite a few goes on that now. I think we should make it a bit faster to challenge you even more. So we're going to do the same routine, the same movements, but we're going to do them faster. Are you ready? Into our ready position then. Brilliant. We'll just do it slowly to start off with, on the first one, then we're going to do it faster so you remember what to do. Ready? Jab, jab, crossover, duck. Good, now faster. Jab, jab, crossover, duck. 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 Fantastic. Are you ready to go even faster? I think we're ready to go faster. And the last one, super fast. It's really important, remember what I said earlier? It's all about control and concentration. You've got to concentrate. Are you ready? Ready, here we go. Ready position. Ready, jab, jab, crossover, duck. 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 Fantastic at home, that was super speedy. Brilliant job. Excellent, okay. Quick drink if you got one again. Quick drink, we're working really hard. Now for our last thing to do. Now I know loads of you at home will want to go even faster. So here's our fast round. This is gonna be called the speedy moves. You ready to go? Hands in the ready position. We're just gonna do little ones forward like this as fast as we possibly can. Now, if you go too fast and you're not concentrating, you might bang your hands together and that will hurt. Okay, so make sure we're concentrating. Good tip is to do it forwards like that, moving them back, so you're never going to hit your hands together unless you move them. Okay, so we do it slow to start with, and then we'll go super speedy, so you know what to do. So, ready position hands, ready position feet, moving forwards, just forwards, just forwards, just forwards, brilliant, they're just little punches, not big punches, little ones, excellent. Are you ready? Super speedy, as long as we can go. Ready, steady, go! Really fast, keep moving those arms for me. Really, really fast. Brilliant. Keep going at home, keep pumping those arms. Excellent job, we go five, four, three, two, one, zero! Round of applause at home. Fantastic, so that's our boxer size skill station complete. Lots of different movements there to keep yourself really fit. That's the idea of boxer size. It's a fantastic job, everybody at home. Brilliant, well done on the skill station. We're gonna play the bean game very quickly that we've done before. So, run a bean. Broad bean. Frozen bean. Run a bean again. French bean, ooh la la. Run a bean, broad bean, frozen bean, a baked bean. X. 
Excellent. And up we get. Next station is our balance station. So we're going to do some animals this week. Some animals we've done before and some new animals. So to start off with, it's our flamingo. So leg up onto, onto your knee, onto your leg there. Put your hands out, just like that. Brilliant. I'm trying to balance in that shape. You ready? Do it again for me. It's tricky to get that balance. Here we go, get yourself that balance and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, zero, and swap legs for me. Get that balance. Brilliant, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good, shoot your legs, shoot your arms. Good. Next one is our seal that we've done before. So on your tummy for me. Down on your tummy. There we go. Elbows down. And our legs go up when we're ready. They, and our knees go off the floor. Now, trickier challenge with our knees off the floor means that you're feeling your back a little bit more and your tummy a little bit more. Okay? We're going to do that just like that. Up. And if you put your hands up too and we're clapping in front, again, it's trickier, okay? It's up to you what you want to do. Arms can be down if you want, you can clap in, so I'll see your flippers, or you can put them up to make it more difficult. Stay in your stomach. We're ready. Make your decision, and we're gonna do it for five seconds, starting from now. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good balancing. Great job. Next one is our crab. So, sit on your bum for me. Down, put your feet out in front of you. Put your hands behind you, flat on the floor. And we're gonna push up into that shape. And then we're gonna put our head back and get our chest up so it's nice and flat. Pointing towards the ceiling. And we've got that, we're gonna hold it for five seconds. Are you ready to go? In that position, hold it straight for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Fantastic. That one's a tricky challenge, that one. So well done at home for doing it. Again, if you didn't get it right, just keep practicing after this video. You could come back and practice again. Next one is our baby penguin that we've done before. So back on our bum again. Like so, legs out in front. Then we're going to put our legs up. And our baby penguin is our fizz at the side, just like this. And we're going to balance for five seconds. Get yourself into that shape for me at home. Brilliant job so far, everybody. Keep going. Okay, into the shape. Feet off the floor. Flippers out. And hold for five, four, three, two, one, zero. And up we get. Brilliant. Balance station completed. Can you show me what a bouncing bunny looks like again? Bouncing bunny, bouncing bunny. Can you show me what a hopping bunny looks like? Brilliant, there's a hopping bunny, other foot for me. Running bunny, really fast for the running bunny. Good, and digging bunny, dig down for me, dig again, dig down. Running bunny, hopping bunny, other foot. Bouncing bunny! Brilliant job, well done everybody. Great job everybody. Now it's time for our five minute workout. Today's five minute workout is gonna be all about different ways of getting around, different types of transport. So our first one is gonna be flying. So an aeroplane, flying like a bird. It's up to you really which one you'd like to do. But I want you to do it on the move, okay? So think about how much room you've got. If you can do it a bit faster on the spot when you're moving like this, actually up to you but if you haven't got too much room don't go running around loads you might just do it on the spot okay are we ready same as always 30 seconds to do our activity starting from now let's go flying around flying around might fly out the spot here flap my arms like i'm flying there we go i'm gonna fly again like this Flying around, just flying, keep going, flying on the spot again, 10 seconds left, keep going, 
five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent, so that was our aeroplane, our flying. Good, next one is going to be rowing. So we're on a boat, we're gonna row. So we're gonna go on our side. I only got on my side to show you. Sit it down for me. Gonna have our arms forward. I'm gonna pull them back like we're rowing in a boat for a whole 30 seconds, okay? We're we ready? Into position in your rowing boat. Get your arms ready with your oars. 30 seconds starts. Now let's go. Good, just pulling backwards and forwards. Brilliant. With your arms, excellent job. Okay, in a minute, not in a minute, in a few seconds, I'm gonna make it a bit trickier for you. Okay, so, I want you to move back with your back and forwards with your arms, making it a bit trickier to keep your balance. Good work. Five seconds left to do it. Keep going for me. And stop there. Excellent job. Brilliant, that's our rowing. Bird is just running or walking around. So, on the spot, we do some fast sprints and then we're gonna walk just around the room a little bit and get back onto our running again. Ready? 30 seconds to do it at home. Starting from now, straight with a sprint. Really fast with your arms, with your legs. Good, and just walking for me. Walking around, walking backwards, walking forwards. Brilliant, and back into that position again. And we're sprinting, go, go, go. Really fast. Keep going for me this time, a bit longer. Excellent, and just walking. Good, we've got five seconds to go, so five big sprints we go. Go, go, go. Keep going. And done, excellent, shake it all off. Brilliant, just two more to go on our five minute workout. Next one is our bicycle. It's gonna go on your bottom, lying on your back for me, and we're gonna pretend we're riding the bicycle with our legs, just like this, going as fast as we can with our bicycle. We ready at home? Here we go, 30 seconds starts now. Riding our bicycle, might put your hands up while you're holding the, the bars as well, handlebars. Just riding our bicycle. Brilliant job. Keep going, keep moving those legs for me. Fantastic. Riding our bicycle upside down. Bit silly, but we're doing it. 10 seconds to go. Keep going for me. Five seconds to go. Keep going. Really fast for the last few seconds. And stop there, back on your feet. Brilliant job. Last one to go, which is skiing. Okay, so make sure you've got your skis on your feet. So we can go, go down the ice, go down the snow, brilliant. How holding your poles for me, and we're ready to go, okay? So when I shout go, 30 seconds as always, as we have done all the way through, I'm gonna pull our poles backwards, and we're gonna move. So pull it and go in, pull it and go in like this, okay? Excellent job, just like so. We ready? Skis ready, poles ready. 30 seconds starts now. Let's go skiing and jumping. Excellent, pull those poles back to ski. Brilliant job. Keep going for me. Keep pulling those skis, those skis and the poles. Brilliant. Keep going. Excellent job, keep moving those poles with those hands. 10 seconds to go everybody. Keep going. Five seconds left. Brilliant. And we're done, brilliant job. Five minute workout done. Excellent job everybody. If you need a quick drink, get a quick drink. There we go. But really hard in that five minute workout. Excellent job everybody. So through to our shout outs this week, I want to give a shout out to everybody at home. Happy Easter, hope you had a lovely time. And keep yourself active, keep doing lots of activity at home or in the garden, enjoying the lovely sunshine. Okay, we are ready for the dance party. You excited about the dance party? Oh, I'm excited too because it's dance party time. As you know, brilliant, okay, so 
this week we're going to do what your grown ups will love. So, before we start, I want you to get your grown ups, go and get them now. Anybody's in the house, bring them with you. Make sure they're in front of me now. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to do that. Scream them, shout them, make sure they come and join in with the dance party today. Okay, so you've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 seconds to get grown ups. 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Hopefully you've got brothers and sisters, you've got grown-ups with you, you've got anybody who's in your house and they're with you now, okay? Now, this week, it's oops upside your head. So, down on the floor for me, sitting down. It's only me on my own, but for you at home, hopefully your grown-ups know what to do. If they don't know what to do, they need to come in behind you, you need to make a big train sitting down. So the legs should be here, the next person behind you. Are you ready? Get your hands ready. We're gonna get going straight away. The first thing we're gonna do, it's clapping. So it's clapping here. One, two, up here for two, and down here for two, then up here for two again, and down here for two. Okay, we've got to try and keep in time with the music. So hands down here, ready, ready to go. And here we go. Let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. You go one, two, 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 one, Forwards again, and backwards now around, around, and forwards, and backwards, keep those arms moving, and we're really good, it goes one, two, 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 oops, upside the head, hope you enjoy this at home. today fantastic if this is the first time you've watched these videos there's four more to go and watch so search on future playmakers and go and watch thank you all for joining in well done everybody at home excellent job